Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. I've been wanting to get into YouTube lately, but um, I've been playing on a Feed the Beast server, and that's been taking up some time. I thought about recording it, but I just... I wasn't into it. Um, but, you know, I'm out of school now, and I figured I might as well get back into it. See if I can, at least. I've built a nice little house here. Um, probably the most... Get off of my roof! <laughs> I put half slabs up there just so things wouldn't get up there. Um, I, uh, I've got a little house going here. And uh, it's, it's not a great house, but it's all right. Um, I've got a little Thomcraft room set up here. I just haven't actually gone for resources yet. I've only, like, this is all stuff that I found above ground or close to it. Um, so the only things with actual storage in them are the ones I'm showing you now. I've got a little farm out back and a little cow farm for meat. So hopefully we should have plenty of leather and everything for books or whatever we need. Uh, he's going to stay up there, isn't he? He's going to grab a piece of glass or something and fly away with it. Um, this is where the, the, cauldr the cauldron thing, I forget what it's called, the crucible, where the crucible's going to go. I've got stone here because it has to be or else it's going to catch fire. And that's why I put glass up there. I figured I might as well put a window above it. Um... So yeah, we got the bedroom, storage room slash, you know, work room, and then the thumb craft room. Now, it's going to be a little bit different than what I tried to do before, in that this is going to be a kind of special, special playthrough. And while I'm talking about it, I am going to go and jump into a cave and do some digging, because I need resources. Um, and if I'm correct, there's a cave here? Yeah. Yeah, there's actually some iridium here, so... Once I get to the point where I can grab that, um, I will have to do so. Um, what I'm looking for right now is gold, because I have... I need to get some gold nuggets for um, a wand for Thumbcraft. Get away from me! Wow, he actually... He must have a knockback bow. Jeez. He knocked me right out of the 2D pole. Um, but I need some gold so I can make a wand for Thumbcraft. But, uh, right. So, what I was saying is this is going to be a bit different because what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to stick strictly to Thomcraft, okay? There's not going to be any, um... I'm not going to say there's not going to be any other mods, but no big mods. Like, no industrial craft, no build craft, just Thomcraft. So, when I come in here, I'm just going to be doing magic for a while. Um, my reasoning for that was kind of just that, you know, people... A long time ago, you know, turned to magic for all of their answers, and, you know, no big deal if you believe in magic. I mean, everybody does at some point in their lives. Um, but, uh, you know, it just seems like an old-timey thing, so I figured I would follow the progression that, you know, humanity has, and, oh, jeez, I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, boy, that got close. Um, I figured I'd follow the, you know progression that humanity has followed, and start with magic. And then once we've gotten to the end of all of the magic stuff, I'm going to go to technology. But I'm, I'm going to start with buildcraft, because buildcraft is much more simple, I suppose, than, um... Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain hitting my window. There's not much I can do about that. Um... So Buildcraft is more simple than IC2, at least, because this is the ultimate pack, so it has Greg Tech in it. Uh, but, oh, look at that. Right in the... Oh, there's another one. It's hiding in my arm. Oh, behind my sword. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Buildcraft is less intensive. Like, it's not going to require as many resources as um, Industrial Craft is going to, which is kind of why I wanted to pick it first, because... Industrial craft with Greg Tech is so involved and it's so end game that there's I'm not going to be able to do it with you know the resources that I would have um, playing normally. So I, I always hit that problem. I I get to I start playing and I'm like okay well I need a bunch of solar panels. I'm like well I can't make solar panels. So I end up just trying to um, like do as little as I can to get those solar panels. So I end up just kind of sitting there for a lot, just, like, waiting for things or something so I can get the resources or various things like that. Um, but this way, hopefully, 
the uh, Thumbcraft phase will give me... What the heck? Why so many? Um, hopefully the Thumbcraft phase will get me a bunch of resources so I can... Um, so I can actually, you know, do... Th oh, yeah, okay, I need to back up. Oh, I really need to back up. Um, because I always get to the Industrial Craft and I just don't have the resources for it. So I figured this way, I'll go through Thomcraft. I don't have to go and gather resources to get through Thomcraft, right? Because I'm not going to be able to do it without any resources at all. So I'm going to go and collect resources and go mining and things. And that way, by the time I've got everything that I need and I've finished with Thomcraft, I should be at a relatively decent place. So that way I can go in and start Buildcraft, which includes like forestry and um, bees and stuff. And that phase is going to take a long time. But hopefully I'll have a lot of resources by that point with which to just go in and um, uh, and actually start up Buildcraft pretty well. Like, I should have a good, a good amount of coal so I can start running coal, uh, coal engines, or, uh, you know, sterling engines, and bat. Um, and, like, enough, just enough resources to get by, basically. So that way, when I continue on with Buildcraft, I can get things like a quarry and stuff and start really gathering resources for my final phase, which would be Industrial Craft. And then with Industrial Craft, I'm going to start building all of the big, advanced machines that take, like, tons of stuff to make. And uh, once we've completed all of those, which does mean that I'm not going to get things like a jetpack for a very long time, which is going to be interesting. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I want to stick to this plan because I figure it might help me draw out my enjoyment of Feed the Beast. Because I always go in and I play and then I... I, uh... I start right at the bat trying to get all the heavy stuff and it's just it doesn't work. So yeah. This this world actually I I played a little bit on this seed um before I decided to to make the let's play. Not a whole lot. I just like came into this cave, grabbed, grabbed some resources, built a house kind of like the one that I have now. Thought I heard a creeper. And um <clears throat> and that was pretty much it. But uh I I did love the seed because I spawned in that meadows biome. So I figured I might as well just kind of keep the same seed since it works so well for what I want to do and just restart. And there's actually, I didn't, I didn't realize this until recently, there's a, uh, a recreate world button when, you're, um, when you select a world. So you can actually create the world again, like empty, um, from, like, with really easily. You don't have to like put in the seed again. You can just go into Minecraft when you're loading the worlds, hit click on the world and then hit recreate and it'll make a copy of it that's totally blank, like generate it all new. Um I'm wondering if there's actually a copy now to to copy it with all the stuff just in case. Um, cuz you know, I mean there are people who, you know, you, you want to do something cool and it's but it's risky, so you want to just make a backup just in case. Or even if you're just like a YouTuber and you want to make backups, you know, that'd be pretty nifty. Um, but anyway, so I, I recreated this world, and uh, it was pretty cool. Also, I'm going to save the um, this stuff until... Hmm. And by this stuff, I mean... Um, oh, what's it called? Applied Energistics? Yeah, Applied Energistics. Um, it's basically just a, like, a way of getting a bunch of storage. Uh, I guess this cave doesn't go very deep. Although I should, probably should have known that, um, but it's it's a good way of applied logistics is a good way of storing things. Like it makes really complex storage systems, so you can store tons of things in a small amount of space and um, like access them from a terminal, so you don't have to go searching through all your chests. I'm going to save that until the IC2 phase, probably. <laughs> um, I don't see why I would be able to justify putting it in the buildcraft phase. Um, but I am going to still collect resources and everything, so... Uh, like, if I come across quartz, I'll pick it up. Um, if I ever decide that I actually do want to do the... Uh, the applied energistic storage at all. Because I, I may not. You know, I may just decide, well, I'd rather not do that, so I'm just not gonna. Um... Though I suppose I should probably get through a bunch of the things uh, at some point, a bunch of the mods. Oh, and that reminds me, I uh, I removed three mods from this mod pack. I removed uh, Soul Shards, Equivalent Exchange 3, and Secret Rooms. Um, now, Soul Shards and Equivalent Exchange 3, 
the Soul Shards by itself, I think, is just incredibly overpowered, and just to even avoid being tempted by it, I just removed it. Um, and there's a slime below us. Um, but uh, Equivalent Exchange 3 is kind of OP by itself, but especially with Soul Shards mod. Because Equivalent Exchange 3 allows you to turn, um, uh, what are they called? Ender Pearls into, like, iron, which you can then turn into gold and then turn into diamonds. Um, and the Soul Shards mod allows you to make spawners. So you can make, like, an Enderman spawner, and suddenly you have infinite, um, infinite Ender Pearls. And, therefore, infinite everything else, basically. Um, so, I I don't care for those mods, and I just removed them. I figured they're just taking up space. I mean, when you go into NEI and you try to look at the um, at the recipe for something, like, say, I want to figure out how to make, or not what I can make out of it. Yeah, what I can make out of it. Like, if I right-click on this mushroom, it'll show me all the things that I can craft with that mushroom. But it takes a while. You saw it pause. Um, and the more, that's just because there's so many recipes that it's, it, um, it has to go through every single one and see if that item is in it. So I figured if I just go ahead and remove some mods that I'm not going to use, that ought to remove some of the recipes that it has to search through. Especially with Equivalent Exchange, because there's a lot of things that you can change back and forth. Um, and, uh, so basically, I think Equivalent Exchange, despite the fact that they nerfed it incredibly since, uh, Equivalent Exchange 2, um, it's still way overpowered, and I, I just don't want it around. And besides, all it really adds is, for somebody who doesn't use it, it just makes mobs drop an extra useless item. So, getting rid of it, you know, gets that out of my, out of my inventory. Um, yeah, I made it. Can I make it? Nope, can't make it again. Okay, well, you know, I guess I could just stay there. Skeleton, you are my nemesis, okay? Um, so, whoa, I saw that red thing and I thought it was like an eye. Like, like I saw that, like, an arm there, and an arm there, and then a body, and an eye, and I freaked out. <sighs> okay. Sorry if I just blew on the mic a little bit. Um, let's see, do I have another pick? Yeah, I'll swap that out. Um, so, and Soul Shards is just incredibly overpowered because you can get it like a blaze spawner. And it's not incredibly easy to do it, but it's... There's tricks to make it easier. Um, like, you can make a cow spawner by breeding cows and then just, you know, mass slaughtering them. Um, and it's basically like you, you kill a mob to absorb it, their souls, and then once you have enough, you can use that shard that absorbed their souls to make a spawner of them. And depending on how many souls you absorbed, it spawns more frequently or, like... Um, and like at the higher level ones you can turn off with redstone and stuff but it's it's just so you can make the cow spawner right and then using an anvil you can turn like a tier 1 blaze spawner or enderman spawner into a tier 5 uh blaze or enderman spawner using that cow spawner if it's tier 5 um and the cows are ridiculously easy to just breed by the hundreds and then kill them all off um so i just I don't even want it around. Um, oh, guess I can't mind that. Um, so I removed them, and the secret rooms mod. I had problems with it one time where it crashed and corrupted some stuff, and uh, I had a lot of uh, blocks that were turned into um, like a different kind of block. I can't really. It was it was one big mess. The whole thing crashed. I couldn't go near it. It was just it was bad. Um so that's that's basically that. Um maybe I was thinking of something else, but I know it caused problems and it certainly crashed me, but um I don't remember if it actually did more than that. Where is this slime? <laughs> he just keeps making noise, but he's not showing up. Um but so I had problems with the secret rooms mod. I figured I'd just take it out. No point in keeping it in, just in case, you know. Who knows if I go, oh, maybe I should just make some of these, and oops, there you go, I just ruined the whole Let's Play. So, 
yeah, that's that's out. But aside from that, this is the ultimate pack. Everything else is normal. Um, as of, like, what's today? Uh, May 23rd. Um, <clears throat> so it's all new and updated and everything. Um, well, to the highest point that it's been so far. Although I expect there to be an update soon, hopefully. Um, so we can bring us to 1.5. Um, because that's been out for a while now. But... And I, I miss the crafting things, like where you can... In 1.5, you can just take something and, like, if I were to right-click here, I could drag it around and have it place each thing there. So, like, if I wanted to make a workbench, i just click once and drag, and it would make a workbench. But I can't do that here, because we're in 1.4.7. So, let's see. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about so far, and I'm not really sure how long I've been recording. I, I checked the time when I started and then I forgot what time I started at. <laughs> um, so, there's that. Um, this gravel might be nice. I'm not sure if I... I wanted to, at first, make my um, my little walkway by my house, which you can, like, see on the map there. Oopsies. Too far in. You see it on the map there, in the upper right corner. Um, I've got that little walkway around between the farms and stuff. I wanted to make that out of gravel, but I didn't have any gravel. I didn't really want to go underground and start digging stuff, because that's when I was going to talk to you guys. Um, so I figured I would just make it out of wood. Uh, though I may go back and change it to gravel, because it just makes more sense for outside. Um, so let's see, how much iron do I have? I have plenty of iron here. No gold, though, but this cave doesn't go deep enough. Um, <clears throat> but I do want to collect this copper. Um, and I said, like... I may use some smaller mods, like I'm probably going to use the upgraded chest mods, like the um, the diamond chest mod or whatever it is, iron chest or something mod, um, so I can make more like compact storage area, uh, just because I see no reason why I shouldn't use it. It's not like technology based, it's just, you know, you can make better chests. So I'm, I'll probably do things like that or um, various other things that are just small mods, but I'm going to try to stick to Thomcraft and hold me to it because, you know, I may just get stupid one day and be like, oh, I'm going to make, you know, a d d pulverizer, which is going to be interesting for this particularly because I'm not going to be able to make a pulverizer <laughs> um, until I get to buildcraft phase. And um, that means that, you know, how much iron I get is how much iron I get. I'm not going to get twice as much like I would from um, with a uh, pulverizer or a macerator. And pulverizers even give more than that, so um, so that'll be that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to to playing like this just to see how it turns out. Um, so I guess this cave isn't great for for gold, and I'm gonna have to go find some more. I wish I could have gotten some some gold this episode, so I could have. Um, well, actually, there's another way this way, isn't there? It looks like it just goes up. Ooh, some uh, shards. I do have some viz shards, I think, uh, like four or five or something. Oh, it just goes right up to the surface. Um, and uh, so I can make my wand with those, but I just, I need that gold nugget. And uh, it's going to take a bit to get. So um, once we can get that gold nugget, I'm going to come back up here. And actually, I need to find some reeds, too. Oh, darn. Are there reeds this way? Oh, th I wanted to show you this thing anyway. There's um a... I'm going to zoom in on my mini-map until it zooms out. There we go. There's a creeper face pond. Can you see it on the bottom left there? I think it looks like a creeper face. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to call it Creeper Lake. And, uh, yeah. Like, not not from this angle, but if you turn... Why does it even look like that? Oh, it's because it's deep. It's, huh. <laughs> that's funny. It's just where it's deep, it's dark blue. I have so many sheep here. It's crazy. Um, and you can see we do have some rubber trees over there, so I'll be able to get those when I want them. Uh, man, I didn't actually realize that this came out this far. Plenty of sheep. We will never run out of sheep. <gasps> and a silverwood tree! Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm going to get that right now. Um, but actually, no, nah, I'll do that off camera because I'm going to have to break every single leaf block to make sure that I get a sapling if I can. And I know you guys aren't going to want to watch that. So there's also a desert here, which is good. There's actually another desert on the other side of our house. Um, so I, we'll never run out of sand here. The only problem that I'm thinking of right now is... Oh, look at this cave. Oh, I fell in. 
Might as well explore it. Um, though it looks rather small. Uh, I'm, I'm also glad to see this wintry biome here, just because... Man, that, that goes deep. Oh, there's almost certainly lava there. Or, um, gold there. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a waypoint here. And I've got the waypoint so that it just shows the, the text, not the beacon, because they it comes with a beacon thing now, which is kind of obnoxious, honestly. I don't care for it. Um, it just gets... You can see it from really far away. It's like, you can see this thing anyway. No matter how far away I get, I'm going to see where that is. I'd rather if I could just turn it off and have a little symbol go into it, but I can't. So, oh well. Um, ooh! Well, this is a good way to end the episode. I'm going to come over here and, and we're going to go into this Thomcraft thingy and see what we can find. Because this is Thomcraft, so... Alrighty. In we go. This will be interesting because I don't have any armor on. So, you know... Let's see, can I... Put, ow. Yeah. Okay, where are you? Yeah, zombie, go after him. Zombie, you're a terrible... You're stupid. Okay, I'm gonna die. No thanks. Okay. Well... Maybe we can go back tomorrow. Um, that's that was a little rough, a little close. But uh, so let's see how how long do I think I've been recording? Mm, maybe twenty minutes, maybe fifteen minutes. Um, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go back, right? I'm gonna smelt up this iron, make myself some armor, and then next episode we can come back, take care of this, and then go explore that cave and hopefully hit gold. Because I'm going to need an iron pick for that anyway, so I'm going to have to go back at some point. Might as well do it now. Look at that, there's two bees right next to each other. I'm debating whether or not I should make a scoop and collect them, because I don't want to do anything forestry, and that's a forestry recipe. But to be fair, it's, you know, I'm not really doing anything with it. It's just a, it's not really science. It's just a scoop, you know? I'm not really breeding bees and making machines to breed the bees and everything. It's just making a scoop and collecting things. So I'll probably do that too. Especially since there's so many freaking sheep around here. Fortunately there were cows too, just like wandering around, so I was able to grab some for that farm. But anyway, that's enough talking. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!